Hi, today's Tuesday, April 25th. Just wanted you to see. I'm gonna do a quick walk around video of the yard here for you. Just so you can see what's going on and I never get to say hi, so hello. We've got three Bobcat skid steers. Looks like we got two, uh, three S570s. These are all low hours. Got nice tires on it. That one's got some sweet tires on it there. Here we go, nice uh, buckets. Two of them have pretty good cutting ages. They all run and they're all low hours. I think they're all 2020s. Here's a 2020 Bobcat MT fifth behind. Mini track loader, it's only got 299 hours if on it. If you're looking for a brand new mini excavator, we have four of them. I believe they have thumbs on them too. Uh, one, two, looks like they all have thumbs on them. And that's just Sabrina, wave hi Sabrina. Thought I'd catch her on video, live in action, moving a roller. This F550 here, uh, it runs and moves, but it's got a possible blown head gasket. It's blowing some water out the reservoir. This is an awful nice F750 tip body dump. Here's an Isuzu NPR and HD cab over there. Here's an F350 with the uh, electric dump on it. Back there, you got a cab and chassis, International 4700. I think that's got a DT466. We've been keeping this Jeep undercover here to keep it dry. We're just getting ready to move it out. There, he just hopped in it. You can hear it start. It's a pretty Jeep. 350 V8 came out of a Corvette. If you haven't seen this yet, check out lot 1114. This is a super clean E350 municipality consignment. Very low miles, clean body, awesome back with toolboxes built in. Check that one out. There's the other Toyota Tacoma. There's a 2000 Ford F650 with a Cummins as a dump. Here's a JLG 600 AJ. It's a 60 foot man lift there. That works great. There's a municipality uh, police or interceptor. Check out this 3500 HD flatbed dump. She's a real beauty. Beautiful. Truck. There's an Indy Pace car. That's an Indy Pace car Corvette there. A couple of uh, uh, Toyota There's Tacomas. a little Toyota Echo. There's that uh, another Toyota. That's a single cab. That one's an extended cab. Here we got a Yamaha V-Star 650. Here's three electric genie lifts, scissor lifts. They all work. Nice big row of stack of cones there, a bunch of storage tubs. There's a nice little Jeep Wrangler Sahara. It's only got 100,000 miles on it. There's a Coachman motor home. There's an enclosed trailer there. Single axle pinnel hitch landscape trailer. There's another pinnel hitch tandem axle trailer with ramps. Boy, check that out. That's a really nice dual jet ski trailer. That's aluminum. There's a homemade trailer there with a dump body they put on it. And here's an awful nice a uh, single axle landscape trailer with a weed trimmer rack and a fold down ramp. So that's a panel. Got a couple portable restrooms. One has a shower. One is a double stall. There's three chippers. I believe all the chippers run. That's an Ingersoll Rand towable uh, air compressor. There's a couple of spray tanks. Looks like they have motors on them. There's a new takeoff Ford uh, truck bed here. A couple of brand new uh, toolboxes. About 250 foot of uh, iron fencing. Got a couple of non-running Sea-Doo jet skis here. Got a little bass boat. Got a Sun Dolphin pedal boat. Got a nice fishing boat. I think it's condition unknown. There's a nice dump insert. This is brand new here. We haven't seen this before. This is, we, we think it's more like a tree shear. They call it a uh, mulcher. And there's a finish mower there. These are all attachments here for your skid steer if you look. You'll see vibratory rollers, you'll see trenchers, you'll see uh, power rakes, uh, brush cutters, there's some more rollers down there, there's forks. There's an international four row corn planter, a farm all cub with a woods mower and a buggy. We also are just taking in this 95 Freightliner road tractor. Looks like it might have a sleeper to it. Looks like a John Deere mower's coming in with it too. Here's something new too. This is an AGT road grader attachment here for your skid steer. Here's a bunch of running mowers, some air compressors. I see a sweepster power broom. Looks like a power uh, rake over there. 
here's all the things, a little go-kart, little forklift that, electric forklift, that works. Should you take a lift? That uh, wheelchair over there, that fellow was real adamant that works real well. He would just want to keep it covered up and say battery and charger. Waiting. There's some new uh, pallet fork attachments here. There's the mast and they come complete. You just got to get them together when you pick them up. Here's some pallet fork extensions here. And like I said, these masts come, we sell the masts there. And then you just got to grab yourself a set of the forks. Um, here's some other, you know, there's a big uh, tire changer looks like. But there's a lot of stuff, snow plows, pallet jacks, all kinds of stuff up here. There's an aluminum bulk semi headache rack. There over there, you'll see more of those skid steer attachments. If you look over there, those are those are 55 by 55. They're called a tree plex. They're like an above ground planter. They sure are cool. There you'll see those 20 foot gates right next to them. So here's just a small showing of things we have. And here's just an up close picture at these tree plexes here. They're 55 by 55 and if you can see, they come with a drain plug that you can move from the top to the bottom. And if, if they're missing the drain plug, those are easy to locate. Uh, they sell them at any hardware store. And here's these 20 foot iron gates. Uh, they're biparting. This looks to be an electric concrete mixer here. And we got these in from a ma machine shop. These are pretty cool. Let's see if I can get this open. These are just totally full. And I don't know if you can see how big these are, but they're, as ta they're taller than I am. I'm five foot eight. I'm standing on, they're on a pallet, but they're taller than I am, just full. Check out these aluminum tables. Uh, these came in here from a local school. They're so light. They're eight foot long folding tables, super easy. There's a bunch of, I guess you call that rough sawn. Pretty cool. There's some slabs with some live edge. Those are really cool. There's some more lumber. You'll see some composite decking here. Here's a bunch of treated lumber. Uh, here's some more composite decking there, treated lumber. That's some vinyl fence. Here's a bunch of boards. There's some lumber here. There's some brush cutters. There's some ivy. Some really nice landscaping stones. Really pretty sandstone. A couple of totes of miscellaneous shelving organizers. Some welding rods. A fuel tank. Here's just another row with some of the miscellaneous here. Just so you can see, there's poly pallets over there in a stack. A lot of these mowers here maybe need some work or repair. That's why they're over here for easy These loading. here are what we'd call the miscellaneous rows. So I'm gonna do a quick walk through. Hi, Zach, say hello. hello. That's Zach, in case you don't know him. He's out here getting dimensions. He's been with us here for a while. Zach's great. You. You're welcome. Here's some poly drums here, push mowers, toolboxes, a lot of push mowers, ladders, cargo carriers, all sorts of things over here. As you can see, we do take some miscellaneous here, nice patio sets, patio boxes, uh, some kids' toys, as long as they're outside and if it's not, you know, junk, we don't want junk. Uh, we'd like high quality merchandise. Here's some brand new horse things here. If you're looking for some horse products, there's some kids' toys, there's some jacks, bunch of pressure washers, lots of shovels and brooms and uh, vices and all kinds of things. Uh, semi truck tail lights. Here's tail lights, mud flaps, a little bit of everything, wrought iron patio sets. And this here is what we call the hand load rows here. So this is all expected to be loaded by hand. There you go. So there we've got a big barge. Here we've got a uh, tandem dual deck over trailer here. 